Hello, Vincent Baker here, and today I'm doing an unboxing of Ruby Combat Ready. And let me tell you, I am super ready to be doing this, because I've held on to this for, I don't know, a couple weeks now, waiting for the chance to have the time to do this video. So I'm super excited to see what's inside, so let's check it out together. Okay, so I went ahead and removed all the plastic wrapping off camera, because I didn't want you guys to see my utter failure at that. Um, as you can tell, this box is super amazing. I love the graphic that they chose for it. And it just, it feels nice. It has a nice weight to it. I also have all the bonus cards. I went ahead and cut it here, but I have not looked inside yet. So let's see what this looks like once you open it. I am super excited. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. So we're going to put that over here. We have an amazing, gigantic, like, rules book, uh, which is beautifully detailed. has tons of artwork everywhere. It tells you how the game's played. I actually really enjoy the layout of this a lot. Um, all the colors look real nice, the way it's just, the illustrations are fantastic. Um, let's see, we have a scenario book, how to create a scenario. Um, so you can create different scenarios to fight different villains. I haven't actually looked into the rules of this game too much because this game just looks so, like it just looks so great like art artistic wise and I'm a huge fan of Ruby that I, I just had to pick it up. Um, as you can see here we have a sheet of different tokens. Uh, different markers of sorts, and that's pretty cool. Um, huh. We have a uh, villain fury, which I don't know what that means, but I'll be interested to find out. We got Zwei over up over here, the magnifying glass, so maybe it deals with, like investigating or, or learning. That's pretty cool. Um, the quality of these boards feels really nice. We have uh, this board that folds out like this, and it has a really awesome look to it. Again, I really like the the design of everything. Let's see, then we have cards based on the characters. So we have Ruby, Rose with her super speed, which is awesome. We have Blake Belladonna with Copycat. We have Penny, uh, I, can, I don't, Polandina <laughs> with uh, Combat Ready, which it's awesome that they named this game Combat Ready. I won't, I won't, spoil, uh, I won't spoil anything if you haven't seen the show yet because you need to watch it, but uh, that's, a, that's a cool name to name this game. We have Yang with Rage, and we have Weiss with Propulsion Glyph. Cool. Well, I, I, I like how all those are set up. Then we have uh, Roman's Henchmen. We have some uh, different bandit camps. Looks like these are different enemies that you can face off against. We have um, some of these different markers here. We have a dice, which that's pretty cool. Looks like a D10. And we have these amazing miniatures. We have rubies, which is awesome. It's red, of course. And we have her awesome looking scythe. Let's see, we have Weiss, my personal favorite character. And hers looks great. And then we have Yang. Hers looks awesome. We have Penny. And we have Blake. Now we just need uh, Sun Wukong. I haven't, I haven't actually looked, there, there may have even been an option to get some of the extra characters. Fun fact, when I, when I first put in, uh, when I first backed for this game, I didn't actually start Ruby, but then I was like, I need to watch Ruby, so I binged Ruby, and man, it's so good, and I'm so grateful that I backed it. Uh, I, was, I actually got drawn to this game because uh, one of the artists for my Spellslingers card game worked, actually two of the artists that worked on my Spellslingers card game they worked on this, uh, they worked on illustrating some of the cards here. So I, I'm very partial to this art style because it's, it's my personal, it's one of my personal favorite art styles. We have some cards of Yang here. Oh, okay, so this probably goes in, in Yang's deck. And then, so if you look on the other side, you'll see that there's different card effects here. Uh, so for example, we have Outmaneuver, and we also have Soaring Uppercut. And these cards will do different things throughout the game. Explosive Punch. And all these cards are laid out wonderfully. And then we have some of Penny's cards here. We have Razor Pain and Precision Targeting. I bet she has some really cool moves in this game. Sword Sail. Cloud of Swords. Super awesome. And then we would have... Uh, let's see. It looks like we have Ruby and Blake's cards here. And... We have Cinder. Okay, so these are the, like the villain cards. We have uh, Torch, Torch, Torchwood, Torchwood, Torchwick, 
Torchwick. Okay, I, I don't know why I was like struggling with his name. We have him and Cinder. So those are probably all the bad guy cards. And we got some Grim. And we got uh, a, a melee thug looking uh, menacing there. All right, so that's some cool stuff here. Now here is the Ruby Combat Ready expansion. So this is all the Kickstarter stuff. So I'm super excited to see what we get in here. Uh, I don't even remember what it is. Um, Okay, so we have Neo here, which is awesome. So you can go up against her, and we have White Fang Revolution. So that might be dealing with the scenarios that you uh, play against. We also have... Huh, okay. Yeah, so we have Neo here, which is awesome. Huh, I'm, I'm curious what all comes in this, actually. But yeah, as far as the materials go, everything seems to be like really high quality. It seems to be really nice. Inside of this is the compartment tray, which is super nice. So you can put everything back neatly. You don't have to worry about just throwing your stuff in there and it gets jumbled around everywhere. Everything seems to fit together really well. I am a little curious if I'll be able to fit this into here. Um, I didn't quite look in, I haven't looked into that yet, but. You know, at the very least, I could put it back into the box, but, you know. Um, so it looks like there's, like, cards for each of the characters, because we have some cards for Weiss here. But we also have cards for Blake, and then we have cards for Yang. So it looks like there's extra cards to add in, into this. Gentleman's Duel. Uh, that's pretty cool. Even his artwork's pretty cool in the back. Um, and then we have Adam, which is pretty awesome. All right, um... Yeah, like I said, all these have like really awesome artwork to it. I, I, I love the art style. I love the way the template is laid out. Um, I really look forward to playing this game. I hope that this showed you Ruby Combat involved pretty well. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, man, I'm just super, I'm super excited. This looks amazing. So uh, thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know if you got the game, how you feel about it, or if you're interested in the game. Yeah, it's exciting. So you guys take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.